<laughs> guys, welcome back. God of the day is the prayer. He has been so bad already. He's been so bad. I was like, who wants to be, you know, God of the day? Because I thought it's got to be a winter god, right? But, you know, I have these terror... I actually have two rune terror decks, come to think of it. I was like, who wants to be god of the day? Just, you know, come forward, let me know who you are. And I got this. And um, everything I'm going to probably say in this video is going to be debated because if people like to fight over God, Freer is one of them. So, you know, take what you need, leave the rest behind. So super naughty. After I got this card, my whole day went sideways because he's very naughty and mischievous with me. When he wants my attention, everything goes wrong. Long story short, I have a package missing. It's somewhere in town. <laughs> we don't know where it is now. It may get to me eventually. So that is very much Freyr with me. He likes to play tricks and pranks. There's people that work with him exclusively. And they'll say he's kind of like a fox kit. Like if you've ever seen a video of a fox kit where everything must be investigated and everything must be torn apart and they must make mischiefs all the time. Is why foxes are super bad pets. Um, Freyr will just do what he can to drive you nuts. And at first it was funny and cute and charming, but the more I thought of it, and the more I kept trying to call the post office, Odin was here like, you know he's just like a little baby. He's like a puppy. He's like a little cub. You can't get mad. So, <laughs> so Freyr can drive you crazy. Um, if you've seen his statues, you know that his statues are very phallic in nature. This is a god of male virility and sexuality and fertility. He's the party god, like Loki, only more so. Um, he's actually really sweet and gentle, though, so if that would be something you would not want to work with, he's not going to force it on you. He would be the last god to make anybody feel uncool. We have it in our lore that Freyr never made a woman cry, and we'd extend that to all genders today. So he's not going to do anything to make you cry. He's not a perv. He's not going to force himself on you. He is going to encourage abundant fertility when he feels like it, but he's not going to force anything on you. Um, He's a god of healing for a lot of people, and he's a god that a lot of people are going to associate to sunshine. And rain, and you know, there are stories like he so loved someone that after they died, he would not permit snow to fall onto their barrow. He just loved this person and did not want the snow between, you know, him and the, the person's barrow. So that was sweet. And, you know, he has, you know, the stories of his ship, which he got from Loki, that he could fold up like a napkin and just take it out and it goes on land or sea. And also his more golden bristles, which he also got from Loki. And Loki always gets left out. And Loki's like, yeah. And, you know, um, you can do a ton of research for him online. So I'm going to try to, like, balance stuff out in this video. I, I was making a video for you. And that's when the package got lost. And I could feel for his amusement. He, he loves to play with his people, and I'm not, like, one of his people so much. He and Freya come and go as they please, but when he has decided he is coming up and he would like some time, please, um, he will make sure everything goes sideways and you got plenty of Freya time. Not always, not always, but sometimes he's like, you, you're not enjoying yourself. You're trying to work. You're doing something. Look, there's sun outside. There's snow. Go play, because by tomorrow, all this will mill. In fact, what I filmed for you guys today, that was early on in the day, and I did get a little more footage that I will try to parcel out, because it's going to warm up, and it will be back in the 50s in a couple of days. So he's like, go, enjoy, play. Um, He's very playful. Um, I think we discussed his healing. He's also very, you know, folic and fertile. And uh, that would also be a frayer a tribute to. It's like having two of Loki sometimes. Anytime I'm working on something for Freyr, either a package gets lost or the goddamn clock goes off or something else happens. And I know there's scales of laughter somewhere. I know there are. He's very playful. It's... He's gonna come over and play with you and he's gonna distract you. And he torments me like a big brother. It's like, um... As you guys know, that have been with the channel for a while, as so I was building his VR temple, he kept pestering me for one of his statues, which we can't do because it would violate our contract, and he knows it. And kept violating, yeah, kept violating, kept pestering me about it, and he's like, how come I can't have it, huh? That's my statue, huh? 
How come I can't have it? Because you know what your statue looks like. What does it look like? I've never seen one. And then I showed him one. What's that? What am I holding? Is that a breadstick? God damn it, Freyer. You can't have that. Why? What is that? I don't know what that is. I've never seen one before. Freyer, go sit down with Loki and be really quiet for like 20 minutes. Why? So I just like Loki the second. I'm like, God damn it, Freyer. Now I remember why I don't like you coming around. <laughs> he laughs and he tears off. And Freya will come with him a lot of times. So if you work with Freya, Freya will come too. And if he's in mischief mode, so is she. And it's just like, he's Fox mischief to me. She's kitten mischief. And they will just mischief all over your house. And you'll be like, no, please stop. Um, they're not beyond tormenting you good naturedly for gifts and for time and for, you know, an offering. They're not. <laughs> um, and... Where was I going with this? I get thrown sideways whenever I'm doing anything with Freyr. He's a god that, you know, some people will not work with him because they say his priests were effeminate. <laughs> I'm like, rude. Um, because they wore bells on their, um, you know, their uh, robes, and they clapped and they mimed. And this had to do something with the cult that we no longer know about. And I'm thinking, well, what kind of bells do you mean? Cute little tinkle bells or those big ass scary bells they use in those Greek uh, drama par parades where they're like this huge bell and there's like 20 to 50 of them on the costume. And when the guy jumps around, it sounds like a church bell going off. I'm like, which kind of bells do you mean? It makes a difference. So we just don't know. Um, People will obviously say that he's homosexual friendly, and you know, there's one million memes of all being a priest to Freyr. Uh, we don't have to go into that. I don't think he cares. I, I, he and Freyr are like, as long as it's between consenting adults and nobody's heart's going to get broken, they don't care. Um, they're very, you know, sex positive, but they're also don't be stupid, get, you know, get regular testing and things like that. Um, he can bless you with peace and friff and, you know, fertility, abundance, healing. Um, I get an idea he has his own magic, but he's not as big on that. And we have a story of him giving away his sword, though people will argue that was just a wedding, normal wedding thing. And we have a story of him being strong enough to, you know, kill a giant with his bare hands, and, you know, he can fight with, like, say, a deer antler or something like that. So he's certainly, you know, a strong, tough god that can protect his people, and although he's usually sunny and warm and mischievous and likes to cuddle people close, he also is that god that's strong enough that he will go out and fight and protect you. Um, in my personal experience, he gets along well with all the gods. They don't have a problem with him. They don't, you know, they don't have any problem with him coming in. Loki loves it when he comes in because then it's like mischief amplified. And Loki is just on the ground wheezing and laughing and going, Tell them about the car! Tell them about the car! Shut the hell up, Loki! There's this car going around that I've seen attributed to both Odin and Freyr. I've seen it on an altar for Freyr, and I've seen it for self for Odin. And it's one of these brooding guys with his shirt off, because these guys are always losing their their clothes. I'm starting a fund if you wish to donate. <laughs> and he, he's lost his shirt, and his leather pants are falling off, and they're, they're even partially unbuckled. And there are two wolves by his side, and he's just giving you this smoldering look. Lucky's like, tell them what else you can see. Tell them, tell them. I'm sure they know. It's Freyr. And I just, I looked at that the first time I saw it. And I'm like, are they sure it's Freyr? I don't remember him having wolves. Oh, oh, okay. I could see how that could be. Wow. Hi. I could see how that could be Freyr. <laughs> I'm getting hysterical laughter in the background. But also Odin, all Norse. Male to cause seem to be full of deities. They either have the association very blatantly up front or somewhere in the lore, but yeah, he's very phallic. But you know, he's not going to force it on anyone. It's not something that you know he would like to make you uncomfortable with. He's certainly a god you can go to with your problems, and he's a god you can go to when you're feeling discouraged, and he's just you know, all around you know, good god. I don't mean to make him sound like he doesn't have specific powers, but. 
He's the most general god other than Thor. I found that, yeah, they do fertility and farms and Freyr has a weakness for baby anything. But they will also happily go shopping with you if you're having an anxiety attack and you gotta get out of the house and go shopping, they will go with you. Um... And they will do everything else, too. They're very generalized deities. Fur has nothing associated with um, snowy days and playing in the snow, but he loves play. So he's like, okay, I'll give you an excuse to get out here and do stuff. And obviously some people thank him every time they eat. Because, you know, Freyr, he would have rolled over, you know, all the food and everything. And, you know, say good health and stuff like that. I'd say whatever... You know, he's calling you towards, that's fine. And whatever kind of relationship he's calling you towards, that is fine. And it's no my goddamn business either. <laughs> um, I say, you know, he's the god of, you know, he gets to make his own rules, kind of like Odin does, kind of like Loki does. I, most gods do, but more so for Freyr. It's like he ain't listen to anybody. Um, he loves his sister, so, you know, like I said before, if you work with him, expect Freya to show up in your life, maybe Njord as well. You might not work with him very often, like I'm not one of his, you know, he's not one of my main deities that's here all the time, but when he does come, Freya will make sure Freya gets his share of the attention. Usually by knocking stuff sideways for me, but with you it might be different and nicer <laughs> with me. With me, I kept seeing, like, post office trucks, like, the last couple days. Like, I my food order was held up yesterday, and I thought it was Loki Mischiefs. And I was there just long enough to see a FedEx truck today. I saw two post office trucks and a FedEx truck as I was out filming. And it was like Freyer doing this little dancing wind-up to, wait, do you see what I'm going to do? So... If you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.